seem poised to seize control for good, but they are in fact set to play out their final scene. Huge forests of primitive conifer start to recolonize the land. In these new forests, plant eaters recover first. One in particular. Like most of the large reptiles, they may resemble dinosaurs, but Lystrosaurus are more closely linked to mammals and to us. Astonishingly, their vast herds make up more than half of all life on Earth. Never again will a single species do so well. The monster herds of Lystrosaurus hoover up so much vegetation that they constantly migrate to find fresh food. They follow the seasonal rains, and each year in Antarctica, this brings them to the edge of a huge escarpment. The only way down for the... It will take several hours for all of them to pass through the ravine, and in some parts there's only space to move in single file. Lystrosaurus have sharp eyesight and a very good sense of smell, but in these cramped conditions it's hard to spot trouble ahead. Lystrosaurus are strong opponents. This hunter doesn't rely on power to make a kill. The attack is swift back members, and it quickly floods the Lystrosaurus's bloodstream. The victim collapses, but the herd moves on without concern. They have no social bonds. The Therocephalians close in for the kill. The front of the vast Lystrosaurus herd finally reaches the river. They're strong swimmers, but drowning is not the danger here. They linger at the river's edge, reluctant to go in. For reptiles, they have relatively large brains, Lystrosaurus arriving all the time, the backlog will soon force them in. The first one takes the plunge. A strong swimmer, he quickly makes it to the other side, but with the steep banks, he's still got to find a place where he can get ashore, and every... More and more Lystrosaurus warily The first swimmer has made it and clambers ashore, but many of the herd now entering the water will not be so.
Despite the carnage, the herd is soon reforming on the other side. Although many Lystrosaurus are dead, it's still only a small proportion of the herd. The dominance of these strange mammal-like reptiles is short-lived. As the planet recovers, so does competition, and the brief glory days of Lystrosaurus will soon be gone. Instead, it is creatures like Euparcaria that are about to usher in a new golden age. These specialists on two legs will provide a cornerstone for one of the greatest dynasties the world will ever see. Their descendants will become the dominant life form on Earth 170 million years and be 